Hello everyone, how y'all doing? Philip here with another video of the series DDG Art Styles. Uh, let's go through Deep Dream Generator and see the different styles that you can use to style transfer stuff and talk about one in particular that is somewhat famous. Uh, the style that I picked for the, today's video uh, is uh, this old lady. It's uh, originally drawn by an artist called uh, Yulia uh, Brodskaya. Yulia Brodskaya, she's originally Russian, but she currently lives in the United Kingdom. And she made a career out of doing stuff with uh, paper. You can see here a few examples of her work. Uh, stunning stuff, I really like uh, the style that it was. I originally found Brodskaya through Deep Dream Generator over well over one year ago. Um, the style was already popular back then, or one of her styles, I remember this one was used a few times. This one as well, I'm not sure if it wasn't me that started using it or not, because it has extra white compared to the other ones. So, uh, so it might have been me that came to this page and, and actually started using it more. But the one that is most popular is the old lady. You can see here, there is even a zoomed in version that you can also use. Another one that is also often used is this one because it has extra black on it, so it's good for those images that have a uh, black or a big part of black and a big part of white that can the style can sort of absorb that and then let the colors uh, do the rest. Also, this one has like some rounded shapes, which sometimes gives a more interesting uh, look. So uh, Brodskaya's style is very ranged. You can see a lot of different uh, touches here. It would be interesting actually to explore the different ones, but th th these aren't very high resolution. So uh, it's kind of hit and miss if you should really use them uh, or not. As you know, uh, the higher resolution you have for your styles, the better dreams you can uh, make out of. Um, so let's uh, talk about how... Uh, it works, how well it works in certain cases, and what are the KVATs that you should avoid when you are reusing this style. So um, Emilia Nupons has recently repopularized uh, the style. You can see it here, the image of a cat. It's one of the highest rated dreams on the last month. And if you check similar dreams to that one, you can see a lot, a lot of people are still using it uh, right now, despite it being three weeks ago. And you can see some interesting results, what you can get out of it, what you can't get out of it. Mostly you get a lot of texture, uh, sort of similar to uh, brush strokes, but uh, different because it's paper, it's not strokes, so it's like thinner so in a way which can be very interesting and this style in particular is very colorful so you might get some weird color results out of uh, the image especially if you apply it to, to black and white but uh, in some parts it kind of works aesthetically and like makes the image stand out i really like this one for example don't know why it only has five likes uh, this one is also quite good, so you can see a lot of interesting stuff you can do with this style to give like an artistic, very characteristic uh, look to it. Not necessarily with a paper look, because the thing with paper is that uh, they're pretty much made of small strands of paper. They're like probably folded one or two times and then placed as if it was a single stroke of a, 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 a like a brush, a brush, uh, what do you call it, a brush hair. Um, but if you don't have enough scale on it, or if you enhance it enough, you start to blur it a bit more and sort of looks like a more broader stroke and a more blurred kind of vision, which can work sometimes for your idea for the dream, or it can work against. Uh, some things that you have to pay into attention, especially if you use this one in particular, is that uh, you should not use an image with a lot of white or black background or a single color background. Otherwise, you probably get get some um, some uh, shading on them. And this is a good example. Like you see a lot of blue on it, and you end up with the blue being all sorts of colors, which can be interesting, but it might not be what you're aiming for. So yeah, a lot of interesting stuff you can get out of this uh, style. Some people also use it as a, as just a, sli a style application, not really for the color that it brings. Uh, so yeah, a lot of interesting stuff. Uh, this wasn't a new use of this uh, style. It's been used before. You can see on this black and white, it really worked very well. Like I still see a lot of detail on it. Um, 
it was used already well over one year ago. Um, I remember doing some work back then. Uh, this was applied to uh, a sculpture by another artist whose name I don't remember right now. I think it's called Ymir, something like that. Anyways, I applied this style and he had pretty good uh, results. Other people also started reusing the style a bit back then. You see a few more of its results. Like It really works well on portraits, I think. Um, even black and white, it gives like the whole the colors, gives it a really interesting vibe and very close to the original paintings from Brodskaya as well. If you check her fine art stuff, like it's very close style to it. Not all of them, obviously, because she changes styles uh, a few times, but uh, you can get very close results. Uh, where were we? Showing more of these. So, yeah. Um, other images, yeah, I tried some other stuff with other Brodskaya images, this is one of them. Um, you can see those rounded thingies and curvy thingies give a different kind of uh, look to the thing, to the image that you're applying the dream, uh, or that you are dreaming, that you're applying the style into. So um, I have a whole directory full of Brodskaya images that I use for different kind of styles, whenever I want this more paper curvy kind of uh, look with a lot of colors i usually open up my brotskaya folder and then try a few different things uh let's see this one ended up a bit more smudged but kind of worked just used it more for the colors don't even remember what uh, what style this was used yeah another different of her uh, this one had more white background, so this was a bad choice from my behalf. Like, I shouldn't have chosen something with so much gray on the background if the style image has this much white, uh, but it is what it is. Uh, this is a slightly better example, not completely. I wanted to get the white out of these corners. It sort of worked, but the colors on the face didn't really work that well. I'm happy with the hair, though. I think that, that sort of worked okay. Uh, another example, and yeah, I'm pretty much done with different examples that I have. Let's see what other people have been doing lately. Oh, we already reached the end of the of the page on the series of drawings for, with Brodskaya. So yeah, she has a lot of different styles uh, that you can try and give this unique paper folding kind of look. Um, so I highly recommend, also if you're a fan of Brodskaya and like her work, uh, check out her book, Painting with Paper, Paper on the Edge. Um, I, ha I don't have it, but I'm quite interested in, in uh, having it. I will uh, buy it uh, eventually, um, as soon as I catch it a, li a little cheaper than that. I mean, that's not bad for a hardback, but I don't know. Um, Anyways, uh, remember to support the original artist. She does great work, so total mad props for her. And um, I'm very interested to see what other dreams other people can do out of uh, out of her pieces of work. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. That if there is any particular style that you would like me to uh, talk a little bit more about as part of this uh, series of videos, let me know in the comments below. Until then, bye-bye uh, everyone. Take care.